ikaze nanone kuri uyu munsi w'umugisha tugiye gufatanya kumva ijambo ry'Imana I welcome your brethren on this blessing day that we're going to share the word of God 
ndabashimira cyane ko mwahisemo kumva ijambo ry'Imana uyu mwanya Imana ibaho umugisha I thank you for you've chosen to give God your time and hear the word of God may God bless you Nagira ngo nkubwire ngo rero uhisemo neza kandi ijambo ry'Imana n'ubuzima ni mibereho kandi mu byukuri ijambo ry'Imana ribasha kurema ubugingo ndetse iyo ubugingo umaze kuremeka n'umubiri ugira icyo wakira kandi gikomeye giturutse ku Mana I want to thank you and telling you that you did not make a, a mistake because the word of God is life and it can change and create things and when it creates the soul and change things in our soul it even affects your physical life Reka ngusabe rero dusenge Imana Let me ask you to pray with me kugira ngo dutangire kumva ijambo ry'Imana Before we hear the word of God Data mu izina ryera rya Yesu Kristo ngo hayi cyubahiro Father in the holy name of Jesus Christ I give you the glory Izina ryawe rirera Your name is holy Uri Imana isumba mahanga You are mighty God Wahoze huri ho kandi uzakomeza kubaho You are you were and you will always be kandi mana nyiringabo mucunguze a redeemer iri jambo ryawe nubuzima ribasha kurema no guhindura niyo mpamvu tukwiragije kugira ngo tuyobore muri uyu mwanya wo kuryumva your word is life and is it can transform the life of someone that is why we pray that we will enable us to hear what you want to speak to us nuka wera mufasha ukomeye ndaguhenda henze kugira ngo manuke unyuze gushaka kwimana muri jewe izina rya data rihabwe icyubahiro holy spirit our helper i call upon you now to come and use me mightly for me to say what the lord wants me to give his people urakoze mwami kwa rya ubwange ndi burusheho kungukirwa no kwaguka kandi nabo tugabane ijambo ry'Imana bakabona umugisha uguturutseho mu izina rya Yesu amen Thank you Father for I'm going to benefit from this and those who are following me I'm going to benefit too and all of us are going to be blessed through what you're going to give us amen Iman himbazwe cyane Praise Jesus Ah uyu mwanya tugiye kuganira ku ijambo ry'Imana rivuga ngo ubu Kristo nyakuri We are going to share the word of God that says true Christianity Ijambo ry'Imana riratubwira igihe kimwe Yesu arimo kuvugana n'intumwa ze The word of God tells us one time Jesus was speaking to his disciples. Arababwira ngo umurimo w'Imana n'ukwizera uwo yatumye. And he told them that the work of God is to believe whom he sent. Icyo gihe abantu benshi bari bamuzi nka nk'umuhungu wavuki Nazareti. Many people knew him as the son who was born in Nazareth. Mwene Yosefu na Maria. The son of Mary and Joseph. Umuntu uraho ngaho udafite itandukaniro ridasanzwe usibye ibyamuvuzeho ko yavutse biturutse ku mwoka wera. A mere person except the words that were spoken of him by the Holy Spirit. Kandi nabyo ntago babyemeraga. They did not accept that. Ni baki cyane babyemeraga kuko iyo baza kubyemera mu kinyejana cyabo nta wundi warigeze abyara atewe inda n'umwuka wera cyangwa ngo avuke mu buryo bw'umwuka. Byari bivuze ko rero bihwana nuko bamwubaha kandi bakamwumvira. They did not accept him because in those days there was not ever found a virgin conceiving except by the birth of Jesus. Hanyuma rero mu binyejana byose hajya habaho ikintu cyo ku mbese cyo kutumvira Imana ku kigero gikwiriye. In every century or in every generation we find that people do not obey God the way it is supposed to be. Kubera ko Imana n'umwuka because God is the spirit. Kandi twebwe abantu yudafite umwuka w'Imana muri wowe ubundi buri umuntu w'umubiri. And we the people if we are not filled by the Holy Spirit we are the kind of people like we are the kind of we have the kind of mind. Imana nishimwe cyane. Praise God. Kugira ngo rero umuntu abe mu Kristo nyakuri ubundi kwitwa mu Kristo ni umuntu wa Kristo. For you to be a Christian you have to have this person of Christ in you. Kubera ko Kristo yadufiriye katumenera marasigorogota ku musaraba icyo giciro cyonyine kiri mu bushake bw'Imana n'icyo kiguzi gikomeye bituma uwizera wese ijambo ry'Imana ahinduka mu Kristo Because Christ died for us and shed his blood upon the cross for our sake whoever believes that cost that he paid becomes the son of God Umwana w'Imana yazanywe no gucungura The son of God came to save. Kugira ngagarurire Imana umuntu wari waratakaye. 
for mankind to come back to God. He had gone astray and departed from the will of God. But the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That is why he never gets tired. He is often there waiting for a weak time for him to enter and do bad things in our lives. To be a true Christian, we must have the values of Christ in our lives. You have to leave some things for the sake of Christ who died for you. There's a word of God that we're going to start with. The righteous people lived in the Christ time and even today they are here. For Christ Christ being a true sacrifice, he is there interceding for us. And having him as our savior, there are two different things. It's not good for a Christian who has accepted Jesus and received them in their life to have this, the fruits of the, or the carnal man, I can say. As I speak this word to you, you have to examine your life through the word of God. Because the word of God in James tells us that the word is the mirror. And the mirror where we observe ourselves and say that I did not comb my hair, I did not wash my face, and examine ourselves and make correction of where we went wrong. Yarafitekabiri. <laughs> Ibihumbi cumi na bine n’ingamiya ibihumbi bitandatu n’amapfizi ibihumbi bibiri n’indogobe z’ingore igihumbi kandi abyara n’abahungu barindwi n’abakobwa batatu umukobwa w’imfura amwita Yemima uw’ubuheta amwita Kezia n’uwa gatatu amwita Kereni Hapuki kandi mu gihugu cyose nta bagore bari bafite kandi mu gihugu cyose nta bagore bari bafite uburanga bwiza Praise the Lord. Praise God. If we can read uh, the word of God in Job. Job chapter 42. Verse, verse 10 to 15, this is what the word of God says. Job 42, chapter, verse 10 to 15. And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then all his brothers, all his sisters, and all those who had been his acquaintances before came to him and ate food with him in his house. And they consoled him and comforted him for all the adversity that the Lord had brought upon him. Each one gave him a piece of silver and each a ring of gold. Now the Lord blessed the, the later days of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of ox, and 1,000 female donkeys. 
He also had seven sons and three daughters, and he called the name of the first Jemima, the name of the second Kezia, and the name of the third Karen Hapuk. In all the land were found no women so beautiful as, as the daughters of Job, and their father gave them an inheritance among their brothers. Yesu na hawa gichu wa hero. Praise Jesus. Ndajira ngo tukumeze dusomi yo mirongo yi ndi. Tulasoma umurongo nano ni jiche chaka neguhera kumurongo wa ambere. Let's read chapter 4 verse 1. Tujeze kumurongo watu minakane. Up to verse 14. That's job. Yo bibiche vine murongo wa ambere kujeza kwa watu minakane. Maze elifaze umutemani aramubwira ati mbese umuntu yagerageza kuvugana nawe nti wagira gahinda ariko ninde wakwiyumanganya ngo atavuga dore wagishaga benshi dore wigishaga benshi kandi wakomezaga maboko atentebutse amagambo yawe yaramiraga uwaragiye kugwa kandi wakomezaga mavi asukoma ariko noneho ni wowe byateye kandi urihebye Bikugezeho nawe ugaha ohagaritse umutima mbese gukomera kwawe suko uva himana kandi nzira zawe zigororotse sizo ziguheshe ibyiringiro ivuka ndakwinginze ninde wigeze kurimbuka atariho urubanza cyangwa harugomo kiranutse yaciriye uhiteka nkuko nabyiboneye abahinga abahinga gukiranirwa bakabiba amahane nibyo basarura bicwa no mwuka w'Imana kandi barimburwa no guhuha ku muyaga w'uburakari bwayo gutontoma kw'intare nishwe by'intare y'inkazi birahora n'imikaka y'imigonzo y'intare biravunagurika intare ishaje yicwa no kubura umuhigo kandi byana by'intare y'ingore biratatana nuko hariho ijambo nabwiwe rwihishwa maze ugutwe twanje kwakira guhwihwiswa kwaryo nibwiraga mbitewe n'ikerekwa cyane ijoro igihe abantu bashyizweyo maze mfatwa n'ubwoba mpinda umushitsi bituma amagufuka yanje yose akomangana let's read in job chapter 4 from verse 1 to 14 it says then eliphaz the temanite answered and said if one attempts a word with you will you become weary but who can withhold himself from speaking? Surely you have instructed many and you have strengthened weak hands. Your words have hel upheld him who was stumbling and you have strengthened the feeble knees. But now it comes upon you and you are worried. It touches you and you are troubled. It's not your revenge, your confidence, and the integrity of your ways, your hope. Remember now, whoever perishes, Whoever perished being innocent, or where were the upright ever cut off? Even as I have seen those who plow iniquity and sow trouble reap the same. By the blast of God they perish, and by the breath of his anger they are consumed. The roaring of the lion, the voice of the fierce lion, and the teeth of the young lions are broken. The old lion perishes for lack of prey, and the calves of the lions are scattered. Now a word was sacred to brought to me and my ear received a whisper of it in this quitting thought from the vision of the night when the deep sleep falls on me fear came upon me and trembling which made all my bones shake then a spirit passed before my face the hair on my body stood up yes now him praise jesus hallelujah hallelujah Ah, ya magambo yo twumvise muri yobu harimo ikiganiro cy'abantu babiri umwe yari yobu arimo gukora umurimo ngo wo kwingingira bagenzi be The story of Jobs read we have we find two categories of people the first category was Job himself who was trying to plead for his people Hanyuma undi ni uwitwa Eliphaz There's another person called Eliphaz Yungu yu Elifaz yari nshuti ya yobu, aliko akajira naka ya rushokoko yari umunu ukora mwuzi ima ni mirimo yu tambi. He was the friend to Job, but he was also the priest by the time. Mujihe yobu yara wa yehomu nisaru mchira anuzi, ijiche chambiru mrongu waga tanda tumuri yobu niko hatugira. 
the first chapter of Job verse 6 tells us that Job was a righteous man. Uhereye ku murongo wa gatandatu hasobanura ukuntu ngo Imana yabajije Satani tuvuye hehe. From the 6th verse of chapter 1 it tells us the way God asks Satan, where are you coming from? Ngo Satani abwira Imana ngo mvuye kuzerera mwisi. And Satan said I'm from wandering all over the world. Hanyuma ngo Imana iramaze tese mwisi wigeze ubona umugaragu wanje yo bunkiranukira. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you seen my righteous man, Job? And Satan answered God. This reading here, what Satan answered. Verse 6, chapter 1 of Job, verse 6 to 12. Uwiteka abaza Satana ati uturutse he nuko Satana asubiza Uwiteka ati mvuye gutambagira isi ne ko yizereramo Uwiteka arongera abaza Satana ati mbese witegereje umugaragu wanje yobo yuko ari nta uhwanye nawe mwisi kwa ari umukiranutse utunganye ubaha Imana kandi akirinda ibibi maze Satana asubiza Uwiteka ati ariko se ugira ngo yobo yubahira Imana ubusa Wagiye umurinda we ninsuye nibyo atunze byose wahiriye umurimo w'amaboko ye n'amatungo ye agwiriye mu gihugu ariko rambura ukuboko kwawe ukore ko byatunze byose nawe azakwihakana ari imbere yawe uwiteka asubiza satana ati dore ibyo atunze byose buri maboko yawe keretse bubwe we we kumurambura ukuboko kwawe nuko satana yahira ko ava imbere y'uwiteka let's read in job chapter 1 starting from verse 6 verse 12. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walk, walking back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil. So Satan answered the Lord and said, does, just, does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made us a hedge around him, around his household, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands and his possession have increased in the land. But now stretch out your hand and touch all that he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power and do not lay a hand on his person so Satan went out from the presence of the Lord praise Jesus Job was living a good life he was a friend to God and a righteous and a bright person to the extent that God boasted of him and told Satan have you seen Job who is upright in my sight now one day when the sons of God became to present themselves before God, even the, the devil himself went there among them. When God boasted of Job, then Satan said, the reason why he is doing that is because you have prospered him. And then the Lord answered the devil and said, Go and touch all that he has, except his life or his passion. Then Satan destroyed everything that belonged to Job. His children, his oxen, his, his camels, everything that belonged to him. Even his friends forsaken, forsook him, including his wife, who told him, to curse God and die. Praise Jesus. On the chap the chapter the in the third chapter of this book tells us that he has ever cursed the day he was born and regretted the day he was born. 
After that his three friends came to visit him. They spent the whole night without saying a word just observing how he is suffering. Afterwards they told him the what they took like the conclusion of their observation. Then they told him, have you ever seen a righteous person suffering this much? You have to repent of your sins. Job was a righteous, a righteous person who was witnessed by God and even favored by people. He was the servant of God. He didn't have another group of unbelievers where he belonged. No. He had given all his time to God and to his friends. The great plague that he encountered. After being the devil and destroyed everything that he had, he went or he attacked also him through his friends, his faithful friends. This is what Job replied to those people who were telling him that he had seen. He said that, I left my mother's womb naked. I will go back into the earth naked. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this journey of Christianity, there are peop two people that live in the life of somebody. There's this person that tells you, be strong, you're going to overcome this. But the huge number of people, they are those that are attacked by the spirit of the Eliphaz. When they see someone being attempted, then they tell them it is because of your sins. Amina, hallelujah. hallelujah. By the true Christianity, we sin in two these ways. A true Christian is seen in being patient and enduring the temptations. The devil, as the Lucifer who used to be in heaven and worship God, he knew the things that son of man could miss and no longer continue to praise God. I'm saying that a true Christian or a believer is not a person who believes God when things are good, and but when things turn the other side, he quits. Another category of Christians is the other part which, which has the responsibility to encourage and empower others. The word of God says we are the body of Christ. The church is the body of Christ of which Christ is the head. But we find that in the life of a Christian, when someone is weak and backslide, other, others say it's up to him, they continue their journey. 
umwe yadutswe ho n'intambara unda kabimenya ntabwo biba ari ibye kureba no kumutabaza no kumutabariza ku mwana ahubwo aravuga ati nawe nagwe yumva ikintu bimeze cyangwa se naba araho ngaho ngewe ndakomeje when their brethren are attacked by many battles they don't pray for them and intercede for them instead they boast and say we are continuing let him fight by himself ubu buzima bw'ubu ntarige rero buba mu mitima y'abantu muri iki kihe turimo na kera bwahozeho ntabwo buheshe imana icyubahiro this selfishness life does not glorify God. Kubera yuko niba turi ingingo zigirirana ntabwo urutoki rwange rushobora gukomereka hanyuma ngo amaso yange yumve ko ntacyo biyabwiye kurwitaho. If we are the body parts, my finger cannot be wounded and my eye says I don't care. Ntabwo amaguru yange ashobora kuvunika hanyuma ngo igihimba n'umutwe byumve binejejwe nuko byari bizima. My leg can't be broken and my head and the other body parts feel at ease. Ubuzima bwuzuye bw'ubu Kristo nuko itorero risubira kukuba ingingo kandi zigirirana. A full life of Christianity is for the church to go back and continue to know that they are the body part of the body of Christ. Whether you accept it or not. Whether you accept it or not. When your leg is broken, you can't ignore it. Whatever the case, you know that you are crippled. Imana ni ishimwe cyane. Amina haleluya. Itore rikwiriye kongera gukangukira gukundana urukundo rwa Gikristo rwa Kristo ubu muntu ubu mana bwari muri Yesu muri isi ndetse nahagiriye mu ijuru gukongera bukagaruka mu buzima bwa Kristo. The church should be awakened and the love of Christ should come again and refill the lives of the Christians. God cannot be bribed. He can't be confused. I want you to remember that after this, there is a judgment awaiting us. Whether I accept it or not, today is the, your day to prepare and put things in order. Mu bintu bibaho bishobora kuba mu buzima bw'umukristo butanezeza Imana bushobora kumurahirira kwinjira mu gucirwa hiteka no kujya muri Gehinomu Imana ititaye ku mirimo myinshi wakoze cyangwa mikeya ibya mbere nubwibone no kwangana no kutagira imbabazi The things that God hates the most among the others is envy pride and unforgiveness that does not manifest godliness in and an orange tree cannot bear other fruits this is your time now you have to observe and examine yourself and Consider the fruits that you bear because they determine that the plant or the tree that you really are. Praise Jesus. The, fruit, the fruits I've mentioned, they are the fruits of the flesh. They are not from God. John wrote and said, the one who does not love does not know God. And the one who has no love is of his father, the devil. You should not rejoice of a bad thing happened to your brother. You should not be happy and sleep well because your brother is encountering troubles. Because we are the body of Christ. Everyone is not zealous at the same level. But Christ at the head of the church is telling something to the body, which is the church. 
hanyuma niba vuga ukumva rero imirimo ye nimbuto zibyo avuze zigomba kugaragara mu buzima bwawe bwa buri munsi if he speaks and you hears his works and his fruits should be manifested in your life ndagira ngo twibukiranye yuko muri isi turi mu rugendo i want us to remember this we are in the journey in this world ikimenye imenye gifatika ahantu wari utuye mu bihumbi bibiri n'icyenda si hutuye uyu munsi bivuze kuri umwimukira utura hutuye bitewe nibishye I want you to remember where you lived in 2009 is not the same place that you're living today. This means that you were a, a pilgrimage. You are a passenger. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where we are going, we have not yet seen it except in the spirit. There are documents that the, past, the pilgrimage should be having. You should have a document and that document is from your everyday works that you do. Ubuzima bwose butagaragaza imana butaza n'icyubahiro cyayo waburi wawe mu rugo waburi mu kazi waburi mu rugendo mu muhandu urimo kugenda ubwo buzima burakwereka yuko ikigero cya Kristo kiri muri wo wari ntacyo ahubwo kwiriye guhindura ugasaba imana gutabarwa kuko isirashirana no kwifuza kwayo the life you live that does not manifest the glory of God shows you that the level of Christ in you is low. So you have to examine yourself and take another direction. Hahirwa umuntu udakurikiza imigambi yababi ntahagara imunzira y'abanyabyaha nticaranye n'abakobanye abuga amategeko y'ubiteka niyo yishimira kandi amategeko ye niyo yibwira ku manywa na ninjuru uwazahwana n'igiti cyatewe hafi yo mugezi cyera imbuto zacyo igihe cyacyo ibabi byacu ntibyuma icyakora cyose kizamubera kiza ababi ntibamera batyo ahubwo bahwana no murama utumurwa no moyaga Let's read the word of God in Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his, de but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the river of water, that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This psalm says that blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of the sinners and the scornful, but he delights in the laws of the Lord. He shall be like a tree planted by the river. Does not fear the time where there is sun. But it bears fruits in its due time. The ungodly are not so. They are like the shaft which the wind drives away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A Christian that changes by the but is changed by the circumstances, that one is not a true Christian. The Christian life today is has a lot of printings in it. When you get to a some to a group of people, you look like them. That is not good. Because the enter a group of bad people, they transform them. The Bible says that when they walk through the valley of Baca, they transform it and it brings joy. 
ubuzima bw'ubukristo niba butari bwa gutandukanya n'abakobanye If the Christian life has not set you apart from the scornful ukumva kubana n'abafite imigambi y'ububi kiryohe and you feel like you want to continue to live with people with evil plans nagira ngo nkubwire ngo umwuka ni wa satani kandi ni wa ni wa ni uruvu nirwo rusana aho rugiye hose ariko abana b'Imana aho bageze bahahindura umucyo aho yo basanze amaganya n'amagambo n'ishyari n'amatiko bahahindura imvugo nziza z'ubumana ntabwo bahita bahindurwa nabyo I want you to tell you this this that is the spirit of a chameleon a Christian is the one who changes is the life of everywhere they reach Imani himbazwe cyane Praise God Amen hallelujah Hallelujah Kugira ngo Satani agere ku mugambi we For the devil to reach his plan Yateje ibinyoma mu mitima yabizera Imana He saw who deceits in the lives of the Christians Ababwira ko igihe kihuse kandi kigiye bakwiriye gucize ibusamo kugira ngo bikemurire ibibazo Telling them that time is taking too long so they should make shortcuts for themselves Ushobora kuba wumva mu buzima bwawe wifuza kuzaba umuntu urugero w'umutumsi you may be feel like in your life you want to be a prosperous but a wealthy person kubera yuko dafata igihe cyo gusanga imana nk'umuremyi wawe nyirisi nibiyuzuye byose satana akakugira inama ngo inzira yoroshye y'ubusamo ico utunze kugira ngo ubone ubutunzi bw'uzahitukira and the devil deceives you because you don't want to humble yourself and go before god and ask for that the devil deceives you and tells you to kill the wealthy person and get all that he had for you to be wealthy Imana ni himbazwe cyane. Nagira ngo mbabwire ngo Satani ni se w'ibinyoma. I want to tell you the the Satan is the father of all lies. Kandi ni umwibone wo ku rwego rwo hejuru. He is the pride person of ever known. Nico cyamuciye mu ijuru ashaka ngo ijuru ryose rimuramye. That is why he was taken away from heaven because he wanted all other creatures in heaven to worship him. Igihe Yesu yarari mu masengesho y'iminsi 40 yaramubwiye ngo mfoka mirundamye ndaguhisi yose. When Jesus was here on earth fasting 40 days he told him bow before me and worship me I'll give you what everything that belongs in this world. Igihe cyose ashaka gupfukamirwa. He want to be worshiped. Ushobora gupfukamira Satani minota 5 bikaguhanira no kubura ubugingo bw'iteka kandi Yesu mu wa yapfiriye warurimo. You can worship the devil for 5 minutes and you lose the eternal life. Okay wenda kuri isi bishobora kuguhira we may be prosperous in this world yes ariko nagira ngo nkubwire ngo ibyisi nibyo umumaro mukeya ntacyo nta gaciro bifite nkuko agaciro k'ubugingo buhoraho kangana mu buzima bwa I want you to tell you that the things of this world their value is limited compared to eternal life dusubiye 40 muri yobu umurongo wa 10 if you can go back in job chapter 40 verse 10 Let's hear what the word of God says. No neho rimbaza ikuzo no kwifata neza kandi wiyambika icyubahiro n'ubwiza. Sandaza uburakari bwawe busesekare kandi witegereze umwibone wese umucishe bugufi. 142 umurongo wa 8 kugeza ku 10. 42 Nuko rero mwishakire ibimasa birindwi n'amapizi y'intama rindwi maze musange umugaragu wanje yobo mwitambirire igitambo cyoswa kandi umugaragu wanje yobo azabasabira kuko ari we nemera kugira ngo ntabagenzereza nkuko ubupfapa bwanyu buri kuko mutavuze ibyanjye bitunganye nkuko umugaragu wanje yobo agenza Let's read chapter 42 verse 8. Now therefore take for yourselves seven bulls and seven rams. Go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering and my servant Job shall pray for you. For I will accept him lest I deal with you according to your folly because you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
iki gihe imana yari irimo kubwira za nshuti za yobu za muciriye urubanza zikavuga yuko ari umupagane ari yo mpamvu byo bibazo bimusohoyeho yataye imana yayiteye umugongo na ikamugirira umushinyi karimbura ibyo byose nawe kabigiye kumurimbura birangije ngo igihe kimwe imana ima igiye kunamura yobu irangije ivugana na baba this time God was speaking to the life of the friends of Job who had judged him, say that he was not righteous, that is why he was going what he was going through. So when God was about to bless again the life of Job, God spoke to them. Yes, I him was Praise God. Chapter 44, 42, sorry, starting from verse 7. Let's read the Kinyarwanda Bible. Nuko witeka amaze kubwira yo bayo magambo witeka abwira Elfazu umutemana ati uburakari bwanje burakubyukiye wowe nabagenzi bawe babiri kuko mutavuze ibyanjye bitunganye kuko mugaragu wanje yo yagenje for it was seven, and so it was after the Lord had spoken these words, Job, that the Lord said to Eliphaz the Temanite, My wrath is aroused against you and your two friends, for you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. Praise God. God was furious of Eliphaz and all his friends. And said that you, my fury is against you. Because you have spoken against my servant. Kandi rero ntago ari byo bikwiriye kubera iyo mpamvu mwishakira ibimasa mu bitware yo bumukiranutsi abari bubatambira ibitambo kugira ngo bababarire That is why you should bring bulls and rams and bring them before me so that Job could stand as a priest and sacrifice them for me Praise God. As I conclude I want to speak of two things. Uh, I want to speak of this group of these three friends of Job. They spent the whole night with Job feeling pity for him. After observing what he was going through, then they say this one has really acted against God and God is punishing him. And his wife told him, this is because of your sins. You should cast, cast God and die. But God had his plan upon the life of Job. Because Job had committed no sin, but God wanted to show us this. Though the Satan had fallen from heaven and chased away from, he from heaven, but there were other people who are righteous and upright in the sight of God here in earth. Praise God. The reason why God rejected the sacrifices of the Eliphaz and they were known priests is because they use their physical eyes and, and ignore the spirit. Many Christians today use their physical eyes a huge number of Christians are going astray today because of what they are seeing with their eyes. But if you are a true Christian, you should have spiritual eyes which enable you to see what others don't see. Because in this story we've seen God, we've seen Satan, Job himself, what he had and his friends. It's difficult for someone to differentiate all those things using physical eyes. But as the body of Christ, as the children of the Almighty, who are given this for free, you should be a person who tears God and ignore the voices of people. 
kubera yuko ijambo ry'Imana ritubwira ko ngo numutima w'umuntu urusha ibintu byose gushukana saying that the bible tells us that the heart of a man is so crafty none mugenzi ujya mu ijuru ko wabihisemo kabirahirira ni zihe nama wiyumvamo ni mbuto kiwera muri iki gihuri ku ruhe ruhande i want you to ask you brethren which fruits are you bearing on which side are you on wa sekazi kabaye kenshi usigaye uhitamo bitewe nibikuje imbere do you have are you so busy that you really make a choice according to the time that you have amina hallelujah hallelujah nagira ngo nkubwire ngo iki ni gihe kisamamagara i want you to tell us this is the time of the violent ni gihe cyo cyo kwihisha mu bwihisho bwitwa kristo is the time to hide in the hiding place called, called Christ. To live, to live a life where you're led by the Holy Spirit, not being led by your emotions, yet you are saved. Because the devil is not afraid of the title that you bear. He's not afraid of the days that you fasted and prayed. He's not afraid of the responsibility that you have in the church. If he is one thing, a Christian praying in the truth and the spirit. Someone who has the atmosphere that is really open and his connection to heaven is always working. If you want to examine your life, I want you to remember those days when you just received Christ. Is that zeal and the, the way you used to be humble and that broken, brokenness of the heart still in you? Kubera yuko mu byukuri ntabwo Satana azazana ikintu gisa n'uruhu ngo akikwambike kitwa wenda kugwa cyangwa kuva mu gakiza cyangwa ubugome cyangwa kugomera imana oya The devil is not to bring a veil and put it on you that is called murdering backsliding and put it on you no ahubwo azazana uburiganya bwe akoreshe systeme ye itagaragara yo mu buryo bwo mu mwuka itaboneshwa amaso wisange waratembanywe nibu uri mu Kristo wabiherukaga igihe wabyumvanaga abandi babivuga but he's going to manipulate your life and bring his craftiness to the extent that you're going to find yourself self down ariko ijambo ry'Imana riratubwira ngo musenge ubudasiba but the words of God is telling us to pray and watch and pray in all ways of praying amina hallelujah hallelujah paulo we mu bagaratia yaravuze ngo mu byukuri nubwo mumbona ngenda ndiho ngo ariko nabambanywe na kristo ariko sinapfuye ngo mpere ndiho and paul says this in galatians that chapter 2 verse 20 galatians that is what paul says in chapter 2 verse 20 galatians that is what paul said Nabamba mwe na Kristo ariko ndiho nyamara se juriho ahubwo ni Kristo uri muri je ibyo nkora byose nkiriho mu mubiri bikoreshwa no kwizera umwana w'Imana wankunze akanyitangira Hallelujah Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 It says I do not um, I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me Hallelujah Hallelujah Paul yaravuze ngo nabambanywe na Kristo ariko ndiho ariko nyamara sigiri ho ahubwo ni Kristo muri jewe Paul said that I've been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live but Christ in me Kuberako Paulo nkawe yari yari umwicanyi yagambaniraga Imana yatotezaga intumwa ya yicaga karwanya ubutumwa bwiza ariko amaze kubona Kristo arahindukira ahubwo ajya kuba intumwa isanga izindi kandi abikoresha ishyaka ryose yiyibagiwe But Paul for himself he was a murderer he fought the church he fought the disciples and he went fight in doing that he ended up fighting God himself Amina haleluya. Hallelujah. Birangije aravuga ngo nibyo nkora simbikora kubwanje ahubwo mbikora kuguri kubwiguri muri jewe. And he said that even what I do I don't do it for my sake but for the sake of one he lives in me. 
niba satani yarakubeshye kugeza aho ukora ibintu byose kubgawe utagikeneye ubundi buntu buturuka mu ijuru nagira ngo nkubwire ngo akugeze kure I want you to tell you this if the devil is lying to you that you no longer need any other help from God he is lying to Kubera ko ijambo ry'Imana ratubwira ngo minsi y'ubushuhuke bwacu tubeho dutinya duhinda umushitsi The word of God says that in all the days of our journey we should live trembling and fearing God. Niyo mpamvu ngo yobu yatangiye kwingingira abagenzi be ngo agitangira kubingingira azamuyijwe abasengera ngo Imana iramwunamura imusubiza ibyo yari yarahombye byose nibyo satani yari yaramunyaze kubera iki kubera ko yari yakize ubuntarije bwari bumurimo hanyuma yarangiza karekura kubw'icyubahiro cy'Imana. By the time Job started praying for his friends God remembered him and blessed him. The reason why God this did this is because Job has removed the selfishness that was in him and put it aside and then God blessed his life. Imana ni himbazwe cyane. Praise God. Mbese uri umwana w'Imana isumba byose uracyabikeneye. Are you still the son of the Almighty God? Imuri byo byose bitari imbutoza umwuka wera. I want you to take away all those things that are not the fruits of the spirit. Isi turi mirashirana no kwifuza kwayo. The word is ending with its last. Ntabwo ugomba kugushwa n'ishyari. You should not be beaten by MV nagugomba kugushwa nurwangano o anger nagugomba kugushwa nubwibone no kwishyira hejuru ngo ubone kukiranutsa abandi barangiye hatred or pride ahubwo umwuka w'Imana arakubwira akakanya but the holy spirit is telling you right ngo wongere usubize inyuma ibitekerezo examine yourself wibuka aho wavuye ukagwa remember where you came and fall wibuke kuri rumwe mu ngingo za Kristo remember that you are among the body You are the body part to the body of Christ. Wongere gusubira na zambabazi zingingira izindi ngingo zikazisengera zikazifuriza ibyiza. Ask God to give you back that mercy to intercede for the church. Kubera ko tumenye ko yobi gihe yingingiraga bamuhemukiye bakamugirira nabi ngo ari himana yamwona muriye ngi muhi biruta nubwiza nubwinshi bya yari yaramuhaye mbere. We've seen that when Job intercede and prayed for his friends at the time when God remembered him and blessed his life once again. Ariko uyu mwoka wa nduruto kindi kirenge ndamagurundu umutwe ndamaso ni umwoka wa satani ushaka gusenya ubwami bw'Imana. But this spirit of division saying I am an eye, I am the ear, I am the arm and you try to divide yourself setting parts that is not the spirit from God is the spirit from the devil who want to destroy the church. Niki kigutandukanya na bene so. What is separating you from your brother? The word of God says that those who are making are dividing themselves from others they have things that they are looking for amen hallelujah praise god indangagaciro z'ubumana nurukundo ni imbabazi nuko zirikana abandi nuko bashyira hejuru nuko bakunda nuko bumva ni no kubumvira the values uh, of god are these its love its mercy its kindness its listening to others and take good care of them Praise God. I thank you for your giving us your time and the word of God. May God bless you. I want you to those who are not those who do not belong to God are not satisfied of this. God bless you as we pray. Father, in the holy name of Jesus Christ, I give you the glory. I praise you for this time that you've spoken to your people through me. Holy Spirit that have given me this seed. I ask you to take care of it in the hearts of many for your will to be fulfilled. I pray for revival and restoration to the body of Christ. I am praying for all the body parts to be restored and be remembered again. Let the kingdom of the darkness be ashamed. Let your kingdom come and all the glory come back to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom.